This is a, a walkthrough of the signal routing that I just figured out for all of my stuff here. So my goal is for the Minilog XD to be kind of my primary workstation. And then I can pop over to the model samples to do a bit of live play uh, and that kind of thing. And then everything here in my synth toolbox is basically kind of like backing track type stuff. Um, and just kind of general filler. So, the way I have everything going right now is uh, the Minilog XD is master clock, and I'm outputting through MIDI on the back. That's going into MIDI input uh, here. And a quick side note on that this is actually a Type B uh, MIDI TRS to MIDI adapter cable, which um, isn't what the Minilog XD normally uses, but the electron model samples is smart enough to know to just figure out as the signal is coming in which type it is. So basically you can use either type A or type B with this which is just awesome because otherwise this cable would be totally useless to me. But uh, going back to this, we've got MIDI out from the XD to MIDI in to here. Um, and then from here we've got MIDI out through just a Y splitter, right? This is just a you know, TRS 8th inch cable Y splitter. So that is sending MIDI out to two places. One, to the Volca keys in here through your standard MIDI cable. And that's using another one of these adapters. Right? The other is into the NTS-1. And that is using just a standard uh, TRS audio cable, a uh, standard stereo audio cable. So you don't actually need a MIDI cable at all for that, which is pretty cool. Um, now, internally here in the synth toolbox, uh, so I've got the pocket operator is taking its sync signal from the NTS-1. So I've got sync out here going to sync in here. Um, if I wasn't using any other gear, I would also go from sync out on the keys to sync in on the NTS-1. But since I'm doing MIDI into both of those, I don't actually need that sync cable, so that's why it's not plugged into anything right now. So, in this case, um, uh, the Minilog XD is sending sync to both of these via MIDI. So I'm not using the Korg sync cables at all for that. And then, here's my little mini mixer for this. So I've got the pocket operator is on channel 1, uh, the Volca is on channel 2, and the NTS-1 is on channel 3. And I found that kind of the more things you add to this, the quieter it gets. Uh, so I've kind of put those in, in that order on purpose based on this one seems to have kind of the, the weakest output. So I'm putting it closest to the output that seems to help. And then I've just got my master output here and just going up through that. That is going into this stereo channel 7-8 through RCA on my mixer here. And um, the this one here is the output from the model samples. So that's another stereo channel, 5.6. Um, and on the synth toolbox one, since I'm going from the mini mixer to a big mixer, I am also boosting that signal quite a bit. I have it turned up pretty far. And then uh, the mini Log XD is not going through this mixer at all. It's instead just going directly into my rear inputs on my USB audio interface. The mixer's main output right here, this record out, that's going to these, channels one and two, on the audio interface. So in terms of multi-track, the XD is all by itself, and then everything else shares the other track. So I can't really separate these things in the DAW at all. Uh, so if we look at the DAW here, I've only got two tracks going. Uh, the top one there will be everything coming from the mixer, the bottom one is everything coming from the Minilog XD. So, oh, the other little tidbit I threw in here is this uh, tape player. So the way I've got that routed is it's just taking an output from the headphones jack on the, uh, the audio interface here, and that's going to the input on the tape player. So everything I play with all this stuff, I can record the tape. And then I've also got an output from here going back into my channel one. That's just a mono output going back through the mixer. So, in theory, I could even use this 
as an instrument. Like say I had some drone sound recorded on a tape here, I could be playing that while playing everything else and it would be coming out live through the mixer. Um, I cannot record and play at the same time, of course that would be an either or kind of situation. But my general thought with this is anything I'm playing I record onto tape and later in the DAW I have one track that is the tape recording, another track that is my regular recording into the DAW, and I can kind of cut between the two. So effectively use the tape distortion like an effect. And that would be a post-processing type thing. Now the other thing I have is my headphones here are plugged into input two. Now why would I want to do that? Well, it's because I don't actually have a microphone or a proper microphone, but I can speak into my headphones Let's try this. Hello, hello. So, ah, oh, that's bright. <laughs> so if I speak into my headphones like this, they actually function like a microphone. And uh, I can kind of wrap them around my head and have them stay there, like basically be hands-free um, while I'm playing. So that's something that I might experiment with a little bit. What else, what's also interesting about this is um, the way the sequencer kind of plays through everything. So I've got a sequence recorded into the XD right here. I've also got uh, a sequence on the model samples. And the, um, the Volca Keys has a sequence. Uh, this does not have a sequencer, so it has no sequence. Um, and this, of course, also has a sequence. <laughs> so with the pocket operator specifically, all you can really do is play pause. There's no way to sequence it through MIDI or anything like that out of the box, at least not without some kind of adapter. So currently, the only way I have to really use this is I can either play it live or I can just press play at the right time. So those are kind of my only options on this right now. Um, but for everything else, since it's all synced with MIDI, I have, so first off, my tempo here, uh, and I'll just to demonstrate. So like there's that running, right? I can change my tempo knob. Right? And that's kind of at the very end of the chain. Everything else is also getting tempo from the Mini Log XD here. Okay. And now the other kind of interesting bit is press play on here, and that tells everything except for the pocket operator to play. So, okay. So the XD is playing, the model samples is playing. This one's playing, and this one's playing. So, stop that. And it, stopping it here also stops it everywhere. So now also, this since this is uh, passing MIDI through here, currently I have it set to MIDI through mode, which means that this is not affecting the MIDI that's coming in at all, it's just passing it on through. So, I can play the Mini Log XD keyboard. Currently, see this volume's all the way down, it's not doing anything. So I can play this keyboard. That is playing through both of these instruments simultaneously. Okay, so I've got the NTS-1. It's turned down all the way here. Right, so that's making no noise. We still have Volca. And note this one, when I play a sound, or when I play the keyboard, it's also firing my Trig 4 here. So I have it routed uh, through Trig 4. So I can turn down the volume all the way on that. There we go. So now we're getting purely the Volca keys, nothing else. So I'm controlling that through here. And then again, let's turn down the Volca, turn up the NTS-1. Now we're getting purely the NTS-1. And then let's say we turn both of those down, turn up this, and whatever sample I have loaded on T4, which right now is this cowbell kind of sound. That's that's what'll play. So depending on how I set the relative volume of these things, I have control over three different things here, as well as of course the Minilog XD itself. So let's go ahead and turn kind of just everything on. And uh, let's give that a whirl. Actually I'm going to set the camera on a tripod here so I can actually play a bit, see how it goes.
Normally I have this set on MIDI through mode. So the MIDI coming out of the MIDI log SD just passes through the model samples and goes out to my synth toolbox. But I can also change this to uh, out mode, which means that this no longer outputs uh, to here. So the MIDI log XD, it sends MIDI to the model samples, so I can still play my whatever sample I have loaded on track four here, but, right, so there's that, but it's not playing uh, the synth toolbox at all, any of the instruments in there. But on here, on the chromatic keyboard, I can play those. So this is now sending whatever note value I, I choose to both of these simultaneously. Right? Or I switch back. Now I've got it here. So just kind of this with one button, I can choose what type of keyboard I want to control this. And this is really useful because maybe uh, there's some points where I want to be playing the Mini Log XD and not playing anything else. Well, in order to do that, I could set this to out. I could turn the volume on this sample all the way down. And now I'm playing just the Mini Log XD and nothing else, which currently has levels all the way down. There we go. So now that's just the Mini Log XD. See, it's still triggering the sample, but the volume's all the way down, so you can't hear it. So I think that's really cool. Um, it gives me a lot of flexibility. Uh, and really this is, if I had it on this menu scene, uh, you know, it's just a one click to swap between those two options. So I think that's pretty neat. So I'm gonna leave it on the through mode for now. So I am controlling everything over there. So I do also have to be careful with the mini log XD because if I turn the master volume here up uh, too much, I can really just overpower everything else very easily with this one. So I'm keeping my master volume at a very, very low uh, setting. So let's try this again. <laughs> 